Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is the first video of me having lost 60 pounds. So what better way to be on camera and show that with my little pony? We also got some skinny pop here. It is a relax and healing week. And then after that, we can get back to work. If you guys want to see that video, it'll be somewhere here. All right, let's get back to My Little Pony. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 1, Episode 10, Swarm of the Century. Go! Oh. I knew it was Fluttershy from the second I saw peacefulness. Ooh, pretty bug. I guess you were hungry. Okay, so she's visiting. Okay. There's more background ponies. Cool. Uh, it would be coming a little better if. Oh, that's what the 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 fly thing is gonna. Oh no, a pink pinky! <laughs> Come on. You won't believe. Oh, I'm sorry. I, am I interrupting? <laughs> you won't believe. She had a dramatic entrance. It's okay. Oh whoa. Where did they come from? Amazing. Parrot right? Are you kidding? Uh, a parrot. Uh. Huh? A trombone. A what? Why? A trombone, you know. Oh. Yeah, but why? <sighs> Stand still, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I can't. Oh, keep on multiplying. Wow. What are they? The better question is, where did they come from? So now she needs an accordion. <laughs> There's a trombone a second ago. Oh no. Dear. Did Rainbow Dash beat them too or no? So I guess that's not working theory. It's like when they eat and they. Ah, I don't know. Oh, mm. uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So when they eat, they throw up more of them or reproduce. And now she has a harmonica. <laughs> Is she a head of the mar the marching band department or something? <laughs> that is a possibility. What could happen? Mm -hmm. The princess could arrive at any moment. Mm -hmm. so, does her music maybe have to do with, to with them? Me. Yeah. Why? No, Flutter. Why? I couldn't help myself. They're just so cute. Dang it, Flutter Tribe. We don't have time to keep rounding up these things. You're you're a part of the problem right now. Girls. There's no reasoning with that one. She's a few apples short of a bushel. Oh dang. To tell you all that rude. The ruining is on the other hook. If you just slow down and listen to me. And I assume that's their strategy. Is that they lure people in with their cuteness so they can eat and multiply and take over words. <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, yeah, they can be very destructive. She just handily had a spell that could do that. Oh, now they're not even eating food, they're just eating. That's honestly worse. Oh, no. <laughs> she just got an instrument to set us okay. and, and now they're just termites now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
That's good because they weren't aware that they changed to to just objects and no more food. <laughs> Eating the words? That's amazing. Imagine you could eat words. I love how they just brought her back. It was a previous episode, I believe. Oh, monster of. But I love how they kind of before my Paris sprite. Isn't that what Pinky called them? Okay, here's the plan. <laughs> She's tweaking out. Good. Everyone else, we need to build an exact copy of Ponyville right over there. <laughs> when the plan just doesn't go. The procession is here. It's all over. Oh no, Pinky! The one man, the one lady band. Does does music stop them? Okay, it does. It's this is like that um that one SpongeBob episode, the one where he brings home the jellyfish and then the music is the thing that stops them. Was there any foreshadowing to the music being the solution? Cause it feels a little random. Unless there was some type of rhythm. So lovely to see an emergency has come up in Philadelphia. Oh, Philly there's been some sort of it's a good idea to stop and listen to your friends' opinions and perspectives. Yeah. I agree. It makes sense. I'm so proud of yeah. your Twilight Sparkle. Okay. And I'm very impressed. Yeah, I just wish they had made the music thing a little bit more obvious. But I guess that's the whole point of it, is that it was so random, so out there, hey, aka Pinky. What to the princess? Why do you think I was so frantic to get my hooves on all these instruments? Oh, yeah, edge, yeah, yeah. No, Pinkie Pie. Okay. Yeah, never mind, okay. The message just hit just now, because it's true. Like, she did know since the beginning, and I even pointed that out, that she knew since the beginning. Yeah. Even when I don't understand that's nice. You saved your <laughs> reputation with Princess... Yeah, <laughs> we saved the city. <laughs> Of course you had to have of course you had to have the trombone there. Nice. So that episode really took off towards the end there. As it is true that Pinky already knew about what these creatures were, so she was doing the random things, and even us as the audience, we kind of see that and like, you're being so random, what are you doing? But we just had to trust her ways. She knew that the music or the instruments were the key to driving them away. But everyone else, it was like, no, we need to hoard them, spells, all these things that just didn't work out. You need to listen to your friends, to those other options. Even if they sound so crazy, it's like, hey, what we tried isn't working. Maybe let's try your method. And that's kind of what the whole point of this was. So I am glad that it came full circle in a very concise and really satisfying way. And this is a pinky episode in terms of she was the solution to this. Yeah, I think I was feeling a bit weird because I was like, oh, the music was never hinted at. But that's the point. It was that it's the method that Pinky was trying to do the whole time. Was do the music because she already knew that this was the solution. That changes my whole kind of view on the episode. Because I kind of wasn't really feeling it or I was kind of feeling it was a little bit like mediocre. But that's basically what the message was trying to imply. So I have to commend that. Some nice tying in and sort of payoff with the writing here. Small things, but they brought back Sakura from the previous episode. Fluttershy actually was in the wrong here. Those bugs were really cute, but again, they're very destructive. And a lot of parallels to what I saw in SpongeBob. <laughs> That's always fun. And I'm, and I'm always gonna call it out whenever I see it in shows. So a pretty nice episode overall, really paid off in the end there. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you when I see you.